What's up, M&Ms? Um, lots of things have changed since the last video. I moved. I'm a grown-up now. My hair is in a little part. I now own a jersey from my favorite football player ever. So, this video is going to be a little mushy, a lot more on a serious note than my things usually are. I decided to make a video about it because it meant a lot to me, even if he doesn't see this. I would like for Joe Hayden to know how much it means to me. He was one of the winners of the 23 jerseys from 23. I did not expect it all and I lost it when I found out that I won. If you guys don't know who Joe Hayden is, he plays for the Steelers, he used to play for the Browns. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a backstory so you can understand where I'm coming from and why this means so much to my heart. A couple years ago, I think I was senior in high school or a junior in high school, so 2016, around that time, I stumbled upon a video on YouTube, documentary type thing where Joe Hayden was interviewed and he talked about his brother who had a disability and they had fallen in a pool and all this different stuff and it really warmed my heart because my older sister has seizures and mitochondrial disease so my whole life I have known how to treat people with disabilities. You treat them like anybody else, you show them all the love in the world. and. Throughout my life, I have noticed that many people don't have the outlook that I do. They tend to judge people with disabilities and they are very mean to them and they think that the things that they do or the problems that they have are funny and throughout my life it's been a struggle because I know not to act that way and I know that they're the sweetest people that you'll ever meet. My sister would go to the hospital all the time so I'd meet lots of different kids with different disabilities and they are the sweetest of people in this world and I think it's terrible that people think it's okay to disrespect them and make fun of them. I didn't find people with the same outlook as me because they didn't have a sibling with a disability. They didn't treat them with respect like I was raised to do and to see how Joe interacted with his brother the same way that I do with my sister and anybody else that I would meet with a similar disability, it just made me happy because you don't see a lot of celebrities with that kind of outlook. I related to it and so ever since then I was like, I'm gonna support this guy. I'm going to support his football career. I bought a sweatshirt with him on it when he played for the Browns and I wore that sweatshirt so much that it's it started to wear out. They're one of my favorite sweatshirts. In the contest, we were told to say what it would mean to us to get a jersey from him, and I did that. I told him about the story with my sister and how I saw the video of his brother, and ever since then, I've been standing by him wherever he goes. I was a Browns fan, now I'm a Steelers fan, because that's where he is. And I ended up winning, and it made my whole year, my whole life. He wrote this specialized note. He signed it as well. Never had a football jersey ever in my life. I'm thinking that I'm definitely going to frame it because I don't want anything to happen to it. I've got this, still has the tags on and everything because I'm scared to do anything to it. And that, and it's signed on the back there. I decided to make this video. I share things on my channel. That's what I do. And this beautiful thing happened to me. So I wanted to share that. And also if he happens to watch it, I wanted him to know that it means a lot to me and a lot to the people who won as well. I saw a lot of negativity and hate in the comments after the winners were chosen. Lots of grown adults yelling at Joe because, oh, you didn't actually look at what people wrote. The winners didn't deserve to win. Basically just pouting and being really upset at him. And it's... It makes me mad because a lot of celebrities don't take the time to do things like this and he did and he's still getting hate for it which makes no sense so i'm grateful joe if you're watching this by chance if you don't follow joe hayden go follow him he's a great guy he's a father he's a football player and he's amazing <laughs> that was this video <laughs> also since i have moved and lots of things have changed i'm really trying to come up with some good content for you guys. I might start vlogging. I have a vlog that I haven't edited yet um, that'll be up soon, 
but lots of different things will be happening on this channel, lots of different people, and it should be fun because I'm in college now. Lots of, lots of things to come. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.